Okay, so I am finally home from um, the hospital. Um, you know, just doing stuff with the kids um, over the weekend, at least trying to. Um, yesterday I felt awful. Uh, tried to go to the store and um, wish I'd have stayed home because um, I got tired so quick, overheated and uh felt sick um feel all right today um still got the numbness in the left side well from the middle of the body all the way to the left um still a little uh dizzy off balance um uh, it seems like the more i move around the worse the symptoms are um but still got the headache um if I move my head back and forth too fast, or if I'm looking down and I look up too fast, that tends to make me dizzy. Um, I have to watch, make sure the um, floor or whatever I'm stepping on is even because that can throw me off as well. Um, felt a little nauseous yesterday. Um, Today, not so much because I'm just getting started out. I um, haven't really eaten much. Um, you know, of course, there's an appetite change. You know, I wish I could say that was a good thing. But in this case, you know, I think I should, you know, eat. I make myself eat. Um, still issues with uh, bowel movements. Um, I got to go pick up some meds today because not going to work on its own you know not using the bathroom on myself just not going you know um for the most part um i work from home um but what i have found is that that may not work too well because you know if i'm staring at a computer and that constant light over and over over you know for extended periods of time for one it makes my eyes hurt two my vision tends to get a little blurry three then the headache and then you know that's that's done you know i try not to uh take any medications that i don't have to take um but you know just to give you um I guess I should have done this in the beginning, but anywho, um, so just to give you what, what they call, um, they, um, said they broke it down into like a, um, I guess a easier to understand type thing. Uh, they gave me some printouts and stuff about, you know, MS and, you know, the causes, possible causes, you know. I don't think there's like a, a, a definite as to what could cause MS. I don't know. Um, but, you know, just give me a second here. So, you know, they gave me this saying, oh, well, this is, you know, this is crazy that um, this is an easier way um, of breaking down uh, what MS is. So, um, so just to give you a little, um, as my old boss man used to say, his favorite word a synopsis <laughs> of um, of some things so um according to what they gave me and what they um wrote out for me it says um multiple sclerosis in adults um and it starts out it says the basics what is multiple sclerosis aka ms Multiple sclerosis is a disease that causes 
vision problems, numbness and tingling, muscle weakness, and other problems. It happens when the body's infection fighting system attacks and damages nerve cells and their connections in the brain and spinal cord. When the body's infection fighting system called the immune system attacks the body's own cells, it is called an autoimmune response. So, you know, that would, you know, why all the CTs, the MRIs, and the spinal tap was done for me. And it says that, uh, what are the symptoms of MS? The condition can cause many symptoms, but do not, uh, but not everyone with MS has all of them. Plus, the symptoms of MS can also be caused by problems other than MS. In general, MS symptoms include numbness, tingling, and feeling pins and needles, muscle weaknesses and spasms, which can cause you to drop things or fall. Vision problems, eye pain and odd eye movement. Feeling dizzy or off balance, which can cause you to fall. Trouble walking or speaking. Problems controlling your bowels or bladder. Sex problems, sensitivity to heat, which makes symptoms worse. Trouble thinking clearly. So, and it says most people with MS only have a few symptoms, but people with severe MS can have almost all of them. So, just with the symptoms that I read, I do have the numbness and tingly feeling on my left side. Muscle weaknesses, I don't have any spasms as of right now, but I do have the weakness. Uh, visual problems, eye pain. I do have the eye pain. Um, if I read too much, um, it could cause my eyes to um, not be able to focus properly. Um, the feeling of dizzy or off balance. I definitely have to watch that because if I'm moving around too much, then that tends to make it worse where, you know, I feel like I'm going to fall or something like that. Uh, and I definitely don't want to do that because I don't want to end up back in the hospital for another week or two. Um, trouble walking or speaking. The walking part, um, I had more of an issue in the beginning. Um, I wouldn't so much say trouble walking as to it's more of an off balance thing. Um, kind of like you got vertigo, you know, all the time, but you really don't. I don't know. I'm going to have to have my ears checked as well because for some reason, you know, they've become painful. I don't know whether it's because of the, the lesions on the brain or what have you. I don't have... Um, when it says problems controlling your bowels, um, like I said, I'm not using a bathroom on myself. I'm not um, um, pooping or peeing on myself. Thank you, Lord. But um, I know at one point in the hospital, when you say controlling, uh, and I guess part of that control is being able to go when you know you need to go. And at one point, um, I had lost the sensation uh, to know when I had to go pee. Um, not that I was using the bathroom on myself, like I said before. It just that that feeling, that desire to go wasn't there. Same thing with the bowel movement. Um, I just had no desire to go or like my intestines wasn't working properly. And I'm assuming because I'm numb from the middle of my body all the way to the left. And I do feel it in my stomach, my back, and, and a whole bunch of other areas that, you know, that's going to affect my ability to go to the bathroom, which I've been needing to take meds to go to the bathroom. Sex problems? Wouldn't know because I ain't having none. So, don't know yet. Uh, sensitivity to heat is a definite because um, it's hot outside. And the heat... Um, doesn't make it any better. Uh, 
if I walk just a little bit in the heat makes my head hurt, my eyes hurt. And that bright light from the sun makes my eyes hurt as well. So definitely have the sensitivity to heat. Now trouble thinking clearly. I mean, what I really know, if I'm having a problem thinking clearly, I know that um, I tend to find myself searching more for words, maybe. I, I, you know, if that's a part of it, I don't know. I'll have to speak with um, doctors about that part. Um, that's why I'm recording these videos so I can see if any difference or changes, you know, that may occur. And I can see whatever the progressions are. Um, you know, this is not done for popularity or fame. More so of my own health keeping track. Because, you know, I write down my notes um, um, in a book. I, I'm recording this on YouTube. If it helps somebody, you know, definitely that's a positive thing. Um, I'm also going to start carrying out, well, I've already put it in my purse, a uh, little recorder that when I go to the doctors and stuff, if I feel like I need to record something because something is not making sense, I can play it back at a later date. Um, now, they do say that there's like different types of MS, like relapsing, remitting, secondary progressive, primary progressive, um, and... Um, progressive relapsing now relapse and remitting it says this means that the symptoms of ms come and go when the symptoms flare up it is a call it's called an attack or relapse these attacks can last for days to weeks and usually get better slowly in between attacks people often feel pretty normal but some people have problems that lasts even after an attack gets better. Relapse and remitting is the most common type of MS. And then it says secondary progressive. This means that the symptoms come and go at first, but then begin to steadily get worse. This happens to many people who start out with relapsing or remitting diseases. Um, and then it says primary progressive this means the symptoms steadily get worse from the beginning i don't they haven't told me but you know that one kind of seems to fit where i'm at now because my symptoms weren't as bad in the beginning as they are now so and i've noticed little changes of things that's occurring so don't know what that means for me yet um my first doctor's appointment outside of being in the hospital will be Wednesday so I don't know yet uh, what they're going to say and I haven't met with my neurologist yet since I've left the hospital on the 12th. Now it says progressive relapsing. It, this means that the symptoms steadily get worse and on top of that there are also attacks that come and go. I mean, I don't know what the attacks are. This is the first time I've had this issue. And there's going to be questions I ask as far as like, how they, can they tell how long these lesions have been on my brain? You know, how, you know, when this could have possibly started. Um, who knows? You know, so I guess it's kind of up in the air of what type I have because really they don't know what way to go to treat me. You know, so. I try to keep these videos fairly short. This is a little lo uh, longer um, than what I wanted. But I will go over tidbits every day. Um, just keep abreast, keep your abreast of my progress, um, where I'm at. And uh, just, you know, read what I've got. And, you know, and as I find out, you find out. Um, because you know this is something new for me and um, and this is going to be educational for me because it's going to help me um, stay abreast of what's going on and and you know and I'm going to try to get out in the community I've joined some groups I'm going to continue to join some groups because I need to know for myself for my kids grands you know but nevertheless I'm going to in this video now 
And I will see you guys tomorrow unless something else happens. Um, again, it'll be tomorrow that I will give my update. Thanks. Hope y'all have a blessed day.